Hello, this is Janos, and today we are looking at a picture at the vinyl exhibition. And this is just sharing my thoughts on this recording. This is the Mobile Fidelity reissue of Amazon Lake and Palmer's pictures at an exhibition. Uh, you see, so Mofi's reissue. And I just listened to this with Kintaro, and he was a little bit distressed from the sound of this uh, LP, and I tell you why. And uh, I want to share this experience because this is something that I experience with many of these reissues. When you look at like 180 gram vinyl, original master recording, half speed master, master of the master, these kinds of slogans, when you read them, then uh, there are certain peculiarities that you will find. And uh, there are some people who say that uh, these reissues are much better than the originals. And there are others who say they are trash. So let me share my experience with the issue. And, uh, and hopefully uh, this will be helpful for you because I'm not just going to say it's uh, divine or it's rubbish, but I'm going to say, uh, share what I hear and uh, this will be good news for some of you uh, because uh, it's not all bad so what was happening so what happens with these reissues is that they uh, try to make them sound better than the original and uh, however there's a problem with that and the problem is that uh, often the, the master tape that they have is a little bit worn by the time they, have, they can work with it. And that means that uh, uh, especially the low level information is compromised. So there is a, rarely a problem with the high frequency information, but the lows make a problem and uh, so what can people do so often with these reissues what they do is just they boost the levels and uh, you will get a couple extra db on and it will sound louder than the original and uh, in most people's stereos that i can an average stereo gear if something is louder then you will think it sounds better However, if you uh, correct the volume, you turn down the volume knob to match the volume of the original issue, then you will find that uh, when they are played at the same volume, the original is often quite a bit uh, better, especially in the bass department. And uh, that's because uh, that information is already compromised at the master that they are using for the reissue. However, uh, that compromise is usually, or not usually, sometimes, I would say sometimes, Kintaro, he knocked over something and something more. Uh, so the re, what was I saying? Okay. So now I have to just restart my thoughts there. Um, so basically, when you have a uh, reissue, then there is a problem with the deterioration of the signal on the tape. And uh, also, there's another problem uh, that uh, when they boost the levels, then the background noise, the tape hiss, and all the problems are getting louder. So, and that's unacceptable for the modern audiophile. And it's actually not unacceptable because it's, it's disturbing, but because uh, the overwhelming majority of today's high-end gear 
really butcher noise so if there's uh, some tape hiss or any noise they make it sound unbearable so so that's my take on noise that noise itself is not the problem the problem is when your system grinds up noise and chews it up for you and mixes it in with your signal and makes it unpalatable and uh, to avoid that uh, they are removing the noise from the recording but of course you cannot just remove the noise uh, without uh, interference you are also removing the low level detail as well when you make a digital reprocessing to get rid of the noise and that results in a, a sterilized recording and uh, if you have a system that is not capable of uh, providing very low level uh, resolution so you can't hear the low level details in that case that system will be much happier with the scrubbed recording you will hear that it sounds much better because of the lack of noise and lack of any low level disturbances however for me in my system which can recognize low level detail and resolve it at quite an excellent level here I notice that it's the low level detail is gone and that makes a recording artificial so basically this LP sounded like uh, like playing a digital recording and then you would say that ah digital has a lot of low level detail but uh, and 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 yes I say that a, a very well done digital recording has a, a tiny bit of low level details but it's still missing the vast majority of low level details that a great vinyl system can read out but even not just a great but a well set up a good system which is good my by my standards uh, so what i want to say with that uh, is that uh, basically this recording sounded like a, like a digital recording now that I listen to it and uh, what they are doing to uh, remove the noise or make the apparent level of the noise less noticeable is that they uh, specifically boost the top end the high frequencies and that is something that is truly ubiquitous at these uh, reissues is that you notice a tremendous increase in high frequencies so just to bring down the high frequencies I had to adjust my uh, compression driver level minus 14 dB so basically uh, they are boosting the high frequency like above a co uh, above 10 kilohertz plus it's 14 db hotter than the mid-range and when you think about that it's like how much is that that's 30 times the energy approximately 30 times so basically you think about that that if you are blasting your system at 30 watt input power to make this recording sound normal you have to cut down the tweeters input from 30 watts to 1 watt so basically if you have a, a nice big amplifier for your mid-range and your woofer then you need a flea power amplifier for your tweeter provided they all have the same gain and uh, however this is good news for those for those uh, audiophiles who have uh, hearing problems so if your hearing has deteriorated from your since the level it was at in your youth then you will find this an invaluable help for you also if your hearing has degraded 
then you can't hear the low level information anyway. So basically I can recommend this album for those audiophiles, those listeners who have significant hearing damage. And in that case, you will hear this album as you heard it when your hearing was intact. Well, you won't have that detail level, but at least you will get the tonal balance and you will finally hear high frequency content. But just be aware that for you it will work very well, but if you have other people who have intact hearing for them, it will be absolutely unbearable to listen to. But for you, it will come as a salvation. Still, even with 14 dB cut from the uh, top end, the bass is still lacking. So for those of you who have subwoofers, you can fix it by leveling the subwoofer up. And um, so yes, in that case, this will be a perfect experience for you. And um, this is my little overview for the pictures at an exhibition by Emerson Lake and Palmer reissued. And uh, for everyone, have fun listening. If you enjoyed it, please like subscribe and have an awesome day. Bye-bye. Uh,